Hello everybody and welcome back to Tides of Death. The goblins begin to arrive in town. The two people who were chased away make it back and quickly find Rebecca and one other soldier, relay to them, and word spreads like wildfire through the beginning to party people that the goblins, maybe not as gone as we had hoped. Um, those that hear it begin to shriek and run into different directions. Rebecca and the other guard immediately run around trying to find more support. They find you guys because you're hanging out right around no, no, I'm here. I'm hiding. I want to hide as soon as this starts. Uh, I don't want to give her a me. perception check yeah. then because you wouldn't know if it starts until something to lets you know. Like her looking for you might be the signal. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. D20 plus 11. Yeah, you're pretty close you. by. You got the hat. There's a crowd around you. People are asking you for, uh, you know, autographs and attention and all that sort of stuff. So you're pretty easy to spot. Um, and she will make her way towards you and say, Captain Waterford, get your men. The goblins. Some of the goblins have come back. And then she dashes really? off without uh, <clears throat> another word. The Is she around right you, she's still with these two guards? One of the other guards. There was some other guard that she would talk to a moment ago. And they're going in different directions looking for I wanna, remaining soldiers. I want to chase after her. Yeah, I mean, I think Norum's nearby too, and he's gonna mm -hmm. follow as well. Easy peasy. Yep. What uh, about I you? Mean, I, I can. I can deal with our man. Um, I'm with Captain Winters at this time. Um, I assume. So yeah. I think I'll just follow him. All right. So you, the three of you chase off after Rebecca as she flees the market, looking for the other soldiers. Who are well, probably I mean, on the outskirts my, my, of town. My plan was to like try and box up her, but I can't. I think I can do that with all three of us. But you can still try. I mean, yeah, I, I'm trying to follow a nail, but I want to keep her in eyesight, but not give away that I'm doing it, right? I'm waiting for her to go into a house or something like that. Um, yeah, she will head down a street, take a corner. You can come to the corner and find Rebecca where she has stopped talking to two different soldiers um, and motioning back in the direction of town or back to the direction of the town square. The soldiers looking at me if I approach. So I'll, yeah, I'll yell because mm -hmm. I'm there. I'll point to the soldiers. I know where they are. Come on, let's go. Follow. Yeah, they begin to run in your direction while Rebecca looks around, thinks to herself, and then like sternly heads in another direction. Okay, I tell the soldiers it's back that way, and I'm gonna point um like west. I, I don't know which way it would be, so so yeah, I'll the just, soldiers yeah. are coming. She had originally gone down this path. Okay, okay. And then, okay. like, took a left down some street over there. So you guys could be just at the, the left turn, maybe another 100 feet past. Okay, I'm just going to tell them that it's that way then and just point, like, back way this alley. Okay, you like, back towards the, the ocean side yeah, of just, things? Yeah, that way, yeah. Great. All right. I want to follow Rebecca and get closer and stop her in the buck. Right. I'm going to make sure that these soldiers get going. I assume that they're going to be running, so... They will be. Yeah. I'm going to need you to make me a move silently check if you want to catch her quietly um, with a, um, a penalty yeah. because you're trying to go quickly. And if this fails, then we can still do a dex check. Just move silently is um, all powerful. So, uh, got it. But That's I what your penalty is. Yeah, my penalty was going to be like 40%. So oh, okay. give me a opposed dex versus her perception. So now it comes down to an opposed roll. And her perception was 11. Said 11. Yeah, so you'll right. come around so the corner she and me, she'll, right? yeah, yeah, she'll like throw a look over her shoulder at some point while she's searching the town and see you and like stop and wave to you. Rebecca, what's going on? I'm I've looking for the guards. Why, why aren't you back in the town square? They're going to need you. I think they need you. Okay, you find the guards. I'll go to them. No, that's ridiculous. Your men are going to need you. You just led everyone to battle. You're a better fighter than I am, I think. All right. I, I get with no choice. I, I, I'll turn around and run back to the center of town. Okay. She turns around and heads off in the other direction. Um, is this a, a feint? Are you, like, waiting for her to turn back, or do you no. actually head back to town? No, no. I'll get back on. All right. Yeah. That'll take about a round. In the meantime, uh, the two guards that first arrived... Oops. One of them... Taken eight damage and 13. Um, the two guards will set themselves in the main, like a uh, nice strong chokehold here, put their shields up, covering each other, forming a, a little bit of a shield wall while the first wave of goblins arrives. And with this first wave of goblins also comes Sail. 
Uh, let's bring you onto the map, Sail. And I'm... tell me, how visible are you making yourself? Are you trying to hide from the uh, White Prince's men, from these these soldiers, or are you not afraid to show who you are? I have been thinking about this for a couple of minutes. I think I I think I'm literally like because I'm faster than goblins. I'm like literally at the head of them, and I will like just charge in. Excellent. Um, you're throwing down a bless, right? So the goblin, there will be a wave of goblins in front of you who gets blessed, it, and then you'll be right there. Yeah. Kind of. uh, and bless affects how many goblins? I think it's just an AOE. Uh, let me double check. I, I I would have liked to have done it like, I guess goblins are a bit undisciplined, so I would have been like, hey, before we go into town, let's all gather up and I'll quickly, you know, mm -hmm. I'll do this thing and then we go in. Um, but it affects a 50 foot cube. Uh, for six rounds. <clears throat> it takes one round to cast, which is why I look okay. for combat. Yeah. Uh, so before they run into here, there could be a coordination, and all of these goblins then will be blessed, and then it's spread out afterwards, and they will arrive. Goblins have short little spears. These guys have nice, good thrusting spears with overlapped shields, though our goblins will begin the onslaught with a couple of basic attacks. Each of these are at plus one, not particularly good, and the soldiers will thrust back with their light spears. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, also missing. For one round of combat over here, Nilrum, you are trying to wave the soldiers past the town square as the people flee? Yeah, uh, so I'm going to wave them past, mm -hmm. and then after they go past, I want to begin casting uh, Fog Cloud. Alright. So the goal being, I'm going to I probably hear where the fighting is or something. Yeah, but there is still a mess. There are still civilians trying to flee. I, it's yeah. too hard to micromanage a thousand Which tokens. Which is perfect. So, mm -hmm. so I'm going to just throw like a fog cloud, I don't know, like over here. Mm -hmm. Just kind of making it like hard for them to know where to go, where they're invading from. Excellent. The guards will follow your commands through the sea of the people, uh, completely bypassing this nice little channel here where the goblins are coming from and they will make their way over here. Um, while they do that, two other soldiers will show up, rounded up by the other guard that had went off towards the, the top end of town. Am I able to cast my fog cloud? Yes, you can get your fog cloud off, no problem. Okay, uh, 20 foot cube per caster level, so four 20 foot cubes. I'll give you cubes. Twenty foot cube. This is twenty feet. Uh, yeah, almost. about. That's almost. good enough. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> Second four of those. Mr. Mooton. So one, Thank two, you. three, four. You got those. Place them wherever you want. Just throw them around there. Excellent. Uh, and that is the same time, or around the same era as these guys at the top are showing up. Archie, what about you? <laughs> um, Where have you gone? What have you done? So I'm still with Captain Winters, right? Yeah, I think I'm just running back into the square now where you are. Okay. okay. The two of you will so be re-entering the square at the end of the round. Yeah. Yes. So you guys will re-enter just at the same time that these guards come down from the top <clears> side, uh, clearly looking for a battle and making their way around these tents. Um, Nero will still be pointing to like mm -hmm. where the other guards went if they will go, but if they won't, then they can go through it. Uh, they botch their checks. They will take Nilram's directions and head this way, but they will pause for a little moment, like slowing themselves from a dead sprint to kind of a walk as they eye the mysterious fog that like blankets part of town, looking to you uh, with curved heads. He goes, what, what's with the fog? What is it? I don't know. By, uh, by the light, I have no idea. A stair bless us. Oh, but I know the goblins are that way. Let's go. Bell goblin magic. We must get to the beach. And they begin to hurry off in that direction. That is the first round. Uh, second round of combat. Where's my notes? Can you roll in? 
Uh, you can roll initiative, yes. Can we get group initiative? Is that fine for this big battle? I think so. That's fine. I'll take that. Uh, one of you roll a d10 for yeah. the party. Oh, we'll I take yeah, five, five then. Five, five yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> party goes at a five. So you will start off the first round of combat then. Our second round of combat. What do you guys do? The three of you are in the town square. Most of the civilians have heard the word of goblins and have fled. This area is rapidly getting vacant. Just a couple of people who have changed their minds and are like, I'd run this way uh, to the left and are now like, no, wait, I actually want to go this way and run to the right. I, I motion to Archie to come with me and we're going to run through the fog down here. I'm going to enlarge Archie. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Archie gets a little bit bigger. 40%. Mm-hmm. And uh, as I, I come through the fog here, I come out to this, I start shouting, hold the line, hold the line. And I'll come up behind these two guards and just stab one of them in the back. Go for it. Uh, how's that? Uh, back they attack and surprise, I assume. Of you. Yes, you get a plus four. Yeah. Yeah. 16. Easy. No shield. The weapon slips right between the armor and the flesh. You get a backstab? Yeah, he does. Yes. They're aware of him, but they like don't the expect him to be attacked. Of all time, right? Mm -hmm. No way, yeah. <clears throat> Roll me. Are you at double damage right now? Triple, I think, at level five. I'll just check. I think it's times three, is it not? I think I'm it is times three. Level six might be. Backstab damage multiplier. Yeah, it's times three. So. Nine damage. This guy. To the wounded one? Yeah. All right, the Rip. weapon will slide in and out of the guy's body. He will quickly slump to the ground. The guard next to him does not catch the source of this damage. It just gives like a shriek and a cry as the goblins begin to swarm, uh, quickly coming over to stand on the body surrounding this guy. Ooh. I can still I can attack, right? We're on yes, the yeah. you can, and yeah. Sail can also act. Okay. Um, Archie will run down here and like crack this guy in the head from up above. Mm -hmm. You make your way through the fog, coming out on the other side, just with enough room to see this last soldier who is doing his very best to hold the line against these goblins. Um, Whoops, you can get another. Yeah. Okay. Nine. Nine. Uh, two back for back attack. attack, one for surprise, brings us to a 12. No, no shield. shield. Right. No uh, no his back attack AC is 12. It is an exact hit. All right. Remember enlarge damage for this as well. Mm hmm. Five times 0.4. Um, that is more than the seven HP that this guard has. And so you crack him in the back. He drops like a sack of potatoes and is gone. The goblins around you give like a, a shrill shrine, and a, a, a screech of joy as they can then push on through. And I assume you just let them walk right past you? Um, no, I think, we, can we, if we've still got movements, I want to run back and say like, the goblins have broken through, hold the line here. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll fist bump the captain. See if any of these guards will come uh, to defend and fight the goblins. And Sail, are you coming up as well? Or what are you doing here? Uh, I, Here's a question. How heavy mm -hmm. is a goblin, and could I throw one up on a roof? Oh, a goblin probably weighs upwards of um, 60 to 80 pounds. So you could boost one, but not, like, lift and hurl, probably. How tall are the buildings? Pretty tall, right? The eaves of their roofs are probably around eight feet. Are there any goblin archers around? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, sorry. There are. Uh... I think I would like to start boosting goblin archers up onto the buildings, oh. like to give them a huge tactical advantage. Yeah. You sneaky snake, you. All right. We will, I will mark some goblins because apparently their archer tokens are silly today. Um, I want to, with my weapon still drawn in, as I'm backing up saying like the goblins have broken through, I want to like wave my sword at the goblins and keep backing up into the center of the town here. I also want to look left and right to the houses the windows in these houses in the square. I assume people are watching us. Yeah, the yeah. town square is mostly shops and businesses. Um, so, but if you were to go down to any of these other areas right outside of this market square, you could find civilians in their homes. 
I'll yell out to the captain. Captain, the soldiers went this way, and I'll point like the actual way they went. Right. The goblin's so turn. It is the guard's turn. And on this round, two more soldiers will find their way here. Um, they are coming from this left side of town, and they will burst out onto the scene, see the goblins, and yell for you guys to get some cover! We know what we're doing! And quickly, like, line up in a another shield wall style effect to ready attacks against incoming goblins. Uh, the four that ran this way, let's see if they can notice anything. No, no, yes, and yes. So the last two will hear the shouts and the cries and turn around and make their way back towards the town square on this round. Um, doing one of these right around here. And let's roll initiative for the next round. I don't think these goblins moved at all. Um, yeah, they moved they, up I from think they did. much deeper. Oh, they did? Okay. okay, okay so. yeah. uh, I'm not going to be using any magic on these guys. I can't like really afford it. I think we might have to fight the Inquisitor, so I'm going to save magic mm -hmm. muscles for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to back up to this uh, okay, initiative. Yeah. Can Archie stick by me? Sure. Move this token, yeah. Just like, we'll hold this line here, I guess, for now. No room will probably back up behind you. Oh, sorry, that's, uh, a, that's a seven now. Okay. Guards will go first. Um, I'll give the other two a chance to notice again. They finally notice, and it'll take them around to get back to here, and then it'll take them another round to get any further. All right, cool. I think we can just watch, wait this out now. Mm -hmm. One more soldier will show up down this little hallway over here, uh, make their I... way into the fog cloud. And... I'm going to talk to the boys. Mm -hmm. I think we need to... I'll whisper to Captain Archie. Let's go, let's not waste your enlarge. Let's go uh, find guards who are straggling over or like Rebecca. We know where she went. She's this way. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go find her. So we're going to take our initiative to go off screen and go find Rebecca or more guards coming. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of let this them handle all this. Right. All right. So this one guy comes over here, makes an attack at those goblins, doesn't hit them. And the three of them will respond with spears with plus one. That's a 16. Uh, easy hit. And we'll do eight Damn. points of damage to the guard, who is basically dead in one shot. Nice. Um, the other guards are here. The party, you guys are going to disappear looking for reinforcing soldiers? Yeah, reinforcing soldier, soldiers and Rebecca. Mm -hmm. We want to catch people in, like, like who are coming. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Uh, the goblin archers will move forward until they have... I'm going to make some dex checks to... Well, it's only five um, feet. They can probably do it. Some strength checks. Yeah. They can... I'll give them... Five feet. Usually let us do that, but they are... Small. Yeah, but they're a little shorter than you, so I'm going to give them a strength check at plus two um, to see if they can jump it. Two, three, four. So two of them will easily make it. No problem. The other two will get dex checks to catch themselves. One, two, and they will actually just fall to the ground and be stupid <laughs> goblins. Because uh, goblins are not the brightest. Sure. 1d6 falling for one. 1d6 falling for the other. One will break his neck on the fall and be a dead goblin. The other will just take two points of damage. And the ones that make it over here can take some bow shots. The guys on the right side of the map. One hit. 15, yeah or one point of damage. Nice work. Good job, goblins. Duh. Those ones have already attacked. Coming up through over here on the far left side, a whole troop will come up to the back of these soldiers, running, yeah, shrieking, cackling. Damn, they're fucked. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, <clears throat> the Soldiers are now surrounded. Well, will be shortly surrounded because the other goblins are going to be coming up through the front too. Um, mm -hmm. 
The goblins coming out of the fog will split. Some of them come over here. And what is Captain Winters thinking right now? Does he feel bad? Yeah. Well, not so much the gods, <clears throat> but all the people in the houses they are going to get like raped and murdered and eaten. Yeah. yeah. These two spears are at plus one each. Oh, and, uh, and then these are at plus three, four, five each because there's a charge involved. One, two, so 19, uh, 20. 20 is a crit, no problem. Or seven damage, and then the 19 is another five. That is 12. That'll kill one of these. The other one will somehow ward off the blows. His armor taking most of the damage. Uh, goblin, goblin, goblin. Stale. Last round, you helped goblins onto the roof. No, this round, you helped goblins onto the roof. No, that was the last round. That was last round? Was what are you doing round? this round? Last round. Yeah. Uh, I think... Based on what I can see, I can't see through the fog, so I would probably proceed through the fog fairly carefully. So whatever mm -hmm. that distance is. Yeah, just taking your time to get through the fog, not wanting to run into any problems. Yeah, and I would have been like looking for something and then I come into the square and I see mm -hmm. what's happening. Mm -hmm. Are we able to find reinforcements or um, Rebecca? I will make those rolls. There was also, you could have seen this guard as you came through this small section of fog right here. Uh, this guard. If I... If I did see him, I probably would have tried to like hit him in the back and just help things along. Totally. You mean attack roll yep. plus uh, three? Because he yep. will kill it. He hears you. No, he does not hear you coming. Plus four. He is oblivious and fighting for it. Yeah. yeah, he dies. You skewer awesome. him in the back. The goblins give a cheer. Uh, they raise their like spears to, like, to you. Pull my rapier out of him and then like kick him over and be like, ah, like roar at the goblins and cheer with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh man, well, the humans are deeply scattered and broken up all over the place. These two on this side might be able to hold for a little while. This guy's gonna go down pretty quickly. On the far right, there are these two who are arriving to see those goblins. Um, let's roll initiative, because I think if they do poorly, they're gonna just get themselves killed immediately. You said you were gonna roll for us to find- Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yes, you will run into a pack of four guards. Uh, well, actually, you'll run into a pack of two, and then you'll see another pack of two a little bit further away. Let's just direct them behind us, and then we'll flip, come behind them. Yeah, we'll, we'll send them past. Uh, Fights in the town square. Quickly. Tell them to go in the right direction as soon as they walk past you. Fuck them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, can we get some initiative rolls real quick? Well, that was, we still haven't done anything this round. Don't know if it's so cold around to find those guys. Yeah, it would have taken the whole round because they are reinforcements okay. who are around or two out. All right. Uh, um, we roll a two. Good. These guards do win initiative against the goblins and will quickly come here. Whatever attack rolls they make is fine. They might even kill a pair of goblins, but they will quickly find themselves now surrounded by other goblins Dead. coming from behind them. Um, this combat might be over quicker than I expected. I think we don't have to role play the rest of it because the guards have like standard procedures for fending off goblins, holding choke points, forming shield walls, letting their you know bodies work together. Um, but because they were so scattered and misdirected and intentionally thrown into the confusion, their formations Sometimes. are completely shattered. And um, I'm just going to roll a die for how many goblins the guards managed to kill before they die. And it's probably going to be on the order of like 2d8, maybe. Eight goblins in total will go down as these soldiers get ripped to pieces. Um, what about Rebecca and that? Do we find her? Yeah. So these two guards, you can let past you. Um, there might be a small scuffle with these two and you guys. Uh, you will get surprise attacks on them, so go ahead and make your surprise attacks. And if they survive all that, then we will... Back attack as well, yeah. Back attack as well, yeah. yeah. Um, then we'll see if they can do any damage to you. 21. 21 is a hit. Um, 12. Dead. 12 will almost kill this one. And my... Wait, my... Uh, my uh... Your offhand? My dagger, dagger as well. Would I get the surprise on the dagger or not? Mm -mm, no. 
Uh, nope. Is... And Archie, go ahead and make two attacks. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, Damn, uh, really with the shit today. four, it'll be a 12. It'll still be a hit because he's surprised and it's back attack and all that jazz and Zacy's only 12. Plus enlarge damage. Uh, so it's going to be seven and offhand is another oh, hit. And at least five damage, so you will kill one. And Nilrim, mm -hmm. get a attempt with a dagger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Here's attack the attack well. with his bard's dagger that he killed the bard for. <laughs> uh, shit, dirty bard. Eighteen. We'll crit. Two, four. Oh. Six is exactly the guard's nice. HP. So, yeah, you'll kill these guys before they can do anything. Um, the goblins will very quickly overrun the town. As the three of you search, you will find Rebecca jogging back at some point, a single guardsman by herself, uh, making her way back towards town, towards the center of town. She will see the three of you standing about, waiting, pause, and stare at Archie the Giant, who's now massive. Oh, no normal say. Yeah, no normal will give her a wicked smile and say, uh, fuck the white prince. And it'll <laughs> point for Archie to go kill her. Yeah. I'll she go kill her. blinks in surprise. Archie, <laughs> you and Rebecca. Let's do it. Roll me initiative. Um, oh, initiative. Mm -hmm. Four. That is much better than her 14. We'll take the attack roll that I first rolled. Uh, no, well, we can do it now. Yeah, you roll anymore. Not anymore. Oh. All right. Same attack. Second uh, attack, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Hey, oh, my God. Are you two serious? Fists. Stop rolling fours. What's happened? Rebecca brings her shield up, puts your fist to either side, uh, and says under her breath, I should have known better than to trust you. There was a stink about your story and thrusts towards you with a 13. Miss. Not going to do Miss. it. And, uh, uh, you know, ch chat's freaking out. They can't see the rolls. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. There we go, there we go. And we will initiative again, unless Sale, uh, who is probably by now joined up with the rest of the party, having made the way through the fog. Can Winters not get in there as well? Yeah, Sale, Archie, yeah. Uh, Sale, Winters, Nilrum, you guys wanna do anything? All right, fine, yeah. I'd specifically like to uh, call Rohi under my breath, to let him know that we're killing a servant of a stair. Mm. Yes. There's no uh, I'm outward go... symbol or like sign that he's been heard, but you know he listens for his voice he and does. he pays attention when called. So he even if there's listen. not a, a symbol in the air, you know Nilrum is watching. Not Nilrum, uh, Roki <laughs> is watching. <laughs> I'm gonna go get uh, this round. I'm gonna go get. Spoilers. I'm gonna go get. Uh, Darkness is armor. Dreadness. I'm gonna Dreadness get is armor. Yeah. yeah. Sure, you can make your no. way back to the house. No one fucks off, yeah. Uh, all right, I go first. I oh, know Archie goes first with four. No, we roll eight. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Captain Winters, you go first. You bastard! We paid you. Sorry, Rebecca. It's a pirate's life for me. Uh, the attacks miss. Her shield defending her. Archie. Ah, you can fight. You shouldn't have wasted this whole time running around these streets. <laughs> Redemption. I say as she gets her head smashed against the wall. Two damage uh, rolls, yeah. And yep. large damage. Uh huh. Oh so my god, she's fucked. Three and five is eight times 1.5 is another. Four, 1.4. 1.4. 1.4. 1.4, okay. That's an extra four, three, yeah. Another four, an eight, twelve. Is 12, and three is 15. It is one blow that will drop her to the negative HPs, bringing her down to minus four. You want to tell me how it looks, Archie? Um, I smash her into the wall with like the the fist wit leading into her um into her chest and it just kinda pops her against the wall and breaks her um breaks her sternum. Yeah, the plaster on the wall like cracks off and tumbles down. She gasps one last breath before it all slowly lets out in a long hacking wheeze. 
you can hear the sounds of combat around you. The goblins Ooh. breaking into buildings, pulling out all sorts of goods. You can hear the occasional shrieks and cries of innocent villagers nearby being overrun by the goblins. The oh, madness. Yes. Are so there I'm... guards or like villagers watching right now? Um, you can see some villagers down the street fleeing in the moonlight. Um, can I fleeing to the docks? Oh, go ahead. I, I want to try like another like public execution because that that like made us um made a little bit of a name for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Do we have a uh, time for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to. I'm okay. Yeah, sure. Who are we gonna rescue though? Well, well, well I, uh... I, I he's already dead, but I kind of want to make a statement with it, you know. Once the battle is won, Neil, I want to walk down to the dock. Well, yeah, I want to, uh, first off, I want to bring out the armor and I want to find Dreadness and have him instruct the goblins not to set anything on fire. Um, mm -hmm. We want to get the Inquisitor tomorrow, so we don't want them to come over tonight. And we need to make sure nobody flees and gets over in like rowboats or anything. So I want to make the group go to the docks as quickly as we can and see if we see anything. Yeah, the party can head down to the dock. All right, well, I mean, yeah, I wonder about that. I just pull out my, I walk to this edge of this cliff here, pull out my spyglass and look across the strait. Um, across the strait, you can see the small, the, the much larger town sprawled out over there. There's only a few lights on in various homes. Um, there is definitely light coming from your town where the, the fire is going, but it doesn't look like anyone's getting in any boats and it doesn't look like anyone's necessarily moving anywhere. The other side of the street is like a mile and a half out. And the sound and the wind blows uh, perpendicular to the strait or parallel with the strait, perpendicular to the two towns lining up. So the sounds from this town don't really ever reach that one. Um, it looks like to them, all they're really seeing is a, a bonfire and the otherwise everything is lost in night. Well, I put my spyglass away and I'm going to walk down to the end of the pier. Mm -hmm. And try and pick the locks on the on the boat. Sure, uh, you have a bunch of time to do it. So go ahead and make me three lock picking checks. You said it was two lock. It was two locks. No, maybe you said it was three. Okay, it was three. I feel like it was two, but um, I say to to Nilram, like, if you want to keep the cook, you should go and get her before the goblins get to her. I'll work on this. Yeah, I'll find Dreadness. I want to make sure that none of the goblins are going to burn anything down, so we can get the Inquisitor tomorrow. Um, I give him his armor. Does he agree? You, to Dreadness, you give him his armor back oh. and tell him. Yeah, I give him his armor back, and I just want him not to burn everything down tonight. Mm. The you goal. Mean? We want to get the Inquisitor, the big bad person who, uh -huh. you know, we have a cleric who can cast a spell of lightning. So when they come over tomorrow, they're going to kill them on the way. It's our best shot. So burn this whole town down tomorrow after we kill the Inquisitor. Well, you see here, we are told my boys, they can take whatever they want. It's they can. It's hard to find every single one of my boys lying around and tell them not to burn anything. Probably already too late. <laughs> Could have decided on this before we came to town. Don't you know? The goblin None. motion stays in motion. All right. Well, what's done is done. We can only wait and see what happens. Mm. Fires happen. They certainly do. Especially when you bring a torch to the party. <laughs> Redness grumbles to himself, pleased. Uh, and on this line, soon enough, the town will begin to burn. The goblins hack apart anybody that comes across their way. They take if, if everything is... and drag it into wait, the wait, streets wait. and begin to split it up. I think this is happening. Goes. I'm going to go and get the, the cook. There's one other thing, though. We need to go back to our room and get our shit before that building goes on fire with all our gold and our drums. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, but I'm stuck I, doing the locks, so if I if I have like Archie is standing with me as I'm working on the locks and I start seeing fires going up, I'll say to him, Archie, quickly get back to the get back to the rooms and get our stuff. Archie's gonna run back. Mm -hmm. You can get back 
you can get back to the house in time. There are some goblins standing around. You can find the two Monas are dead. One in the living room. Uh, one made it halfway into her bedroom before a goblin arrow hit her in the back. They're sprawled out. The goblins are going through some of the stuff. One of the goblins is in your room going through your oh. stuff as if it's loot. The door's wizard locked. Oh, well, if it was in the... Oh, then he's going through shit. Archie's room. Uh, okay, looking it's at probably Archie's in Archie's stuff. room, yeah. 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 You see a goblin, like, going through your belongings, Archie, looking at it as if it's his to loot. Uh, what do I even have? It's a bunch of clothes? I don't really think... I yeah, the drums might be in your room. Oh, the drums would be in my room, yeah. yeah. I'll um, yeah, make sure to get He's got those. these drums out, and he's looking at them, and, like, you know, he puts them down and then begins to, like, squat. Like, he turns the drums upside down and, like, it starts to use them as a chamber pot, squatting over them. Oh, shit, he's got a lot of that. Uh, hey, hey, little guy. That's mine. Ah. You're not touching that. He makes direct <laughs> eye contact with you as he squeezes harder, and the veins begin to burst on his forehead. Hey, um, I, I'm, I'm fucking punching this guy. What the <laughs> fuck does he think he's doing? Wait, the first rule is don't hurt any goblins, although I do support it in this case. <laughs> no, it's fine. It'll just be a dead goblin. They're, this place is yeah, going yeah, burned no, down it's anyways. Fine, yeah. it's fine. I was just saying, um, that's the one thing that Archie understood. It's like, all right, don't kill, don't punch goblins, but this guy's asking for it. He, he does know the importance of the drums as a, as a seaman. Yeah. I'm punching this guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. The goblin goes sprawling. His relaxed body now opens the bowels easily. You can pick up your stuff, no problem. But you go to the captain's door, and it's stuck, like really stuck. God damn it. Um, I think when uh, Nilrum starts seeing stuff go up, he's also he's going to start heading over. But yeah, I can go ahead. Mm -hmm. Are you going to the cook? Well, that's where I'm going. They're at the, the place, right? No, they're it's a different end. place. They're at, they're at the No, they're at the restaurant. Oh, if they're at the restaurant, I'm going to the restaurant. Yeah. Yep. The restaurant, which also doubles as the um, home for the owner. You can make your way there and find that there are a pair of goblins pounding on the front door. Uh, and then, like, in mocking voices, taunting the insiders. You can't hear, you don't understand the words because they're in Goblin, but they have that tone to them, sort of yeah. like, smart, you dark, Yeah, that innate I'm gonna, tone of... I'm gonna give the goblins, like, a, hey, fuck on out of here. Big man's got shit to do. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of point him away. Say, yeah, like, give me a charisma over check. There. Because they yeah. know that you're, they're supposed to be listening to you, but are they really they're going to in the heat yeah. of the moment? Yeah, they're kind of... They lack discipline. Hey, they give you rude gestures and continue to like, lurk around the house trying to find a way in. Uh, are they lurking around? One of them stands at the door and continues to mock. One of them goes around the side of the building looking for a window that's loose. I think back. My captain really wanted this cook. No, I'm not bothered. I'm not I, Archie wants the cook. One magic missile, two of them to the one goblin. I kind of make it low key. One uh, at the front door. Yeah, two d four plus one. Two. Oh, plus two. Four, four damage. Four damage. Against. Yeah, two d four plus two. Four damage. Goblin with three hit points. Yep, goblin goes down. Was, that was lucky. It's big. All right, I knock on the door. Hey, I'm here to save you. Come on. Norum says. Who, who, I handled the goblin. There? Calls a voice from the other side. It's Nilrum, town savior. Uh, the door quickly opens up, and the person gestures in, looking at the dead goblin. If you get in quickly before they find you. Uh, how strong do they look? It's the proprietor who is um. It's an old lady. A middle-aged man with two plus one plus three strength, six strength. Okay, uh, Nilrum's just kind of going to grab him and say, if you follow me, you'll live. Let's go. And he's going to, like, push him. He does. Yeah, he follows no. you quickly. Where, we're where going are we going? The... We're going by God. There's so many goblins. We're going to our boat. You'll be okay. Okay. Nilrum thinks to himself, Archie's going to love me after this. Yeah. You can make your way to the boat. Uh, you'll find Captain Winters there, unlocking it or attempting to unlock it. Well, I rolled my I rolled my checks, Neil. Mm -hmm. I got two passes and a sixty-eight versus a sixty-five. Uh, the last I know there's one... a modifier depending on the quality of the lock. No, it's a normal, uh, ordinary lock quality. Okay. The last one just barely eludes you. 
Is there any uh, recourse here? You, if you have unlimited time and quality lighting and stuff, I would allow you to get a bonus. But in the heat of the moment, trying to do it right now, no, sir. But what's the heat of the moment? We got nothing to do. We're fine. I'm just I'm chilling. I take a break. Yeah, sure. I if you want to like. What I'm trying to say is if you have like hours and hours to work on it, then you can get a bonus and you can get it. Um, okay, if I, I fail it the first time, I give up for a minute. Mm -hmm. I look behind me, I see that the, the town's like fully on fire. Now I'm going to take the spyglass out again and check across the um, across the strait. See if I can see yeah. anything happening. Um, you can see people have come out of their buildings and are looking across this way and that there are people on the docks as well. Um, lanterns have lit up. No way to see if they're guards or the Inquisitor or anything like that. Mm -mm. From this no, angle. it's quite dark. No. I'll return with the the cook to the captain. Captain, we kind of need to get out of here if, if they start coming over. Well, how many goblins are left? Can we not fight them? This The big prize. I mean, Norm, I got to look in that treasury. There's about 300 gold left in there. 300 silver. There's nothing. If we want to make this worthwhile, we've got to kill that Inquisitor. The man walking with Nilbrum goes, kill the Inquit. Oh my God, you're working with the goblins? Either you can oh. stay with us and be our new cook, or I'm sure I see some goblins. I'll point to them. You can go die by their hands. What will it Fish be? Fish and chips might have saved your life, sir. But I'm not the cook. I look who at Nilbrum. She's not the cook? <laughs> I look at him. Who are you? I'm Brophy. I'm one of the Brophy brothers. Who's the cook? Janet. Where's she? He like points across the town. She, she lives on the west side of town. For fuck's sake. For fu You're taking me there. And we start heading over there. Captain, you need to watch this and come find me if anything crazy is going on. Yeah, yeah, we'll be here. We'll be here. Let's sail. Uh... Great question, Sail. I would say I'm. I dragged uh, Rebecca's corpse to the water and threw it in uh, mm -hmm. as a sacrifice, as as a, just to be like, here, mm -hmm. here's the body to to Rohi. Um, Can I have caught Sail on the way? Can I roll something to see uh, if I got see. him on the way? You were off to there. Sail went over there. Uh, oof. I'd be I, near I'd give the you the docks probably. Yeah, if you're drowning, uh, makes sense. 60% chance? Yeah, sure. 60% chance. Roll me a D100. 60 or lower. I want, I want low. Or, I want low? Fuck. Oh, yeah. There's no way. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, there's no way at all. Um, You toss Rebecca's botter into the botter, body into <laughs> the waves. Um, and she floats for a moment before being like yoinked down as if by Ooh, some shit. Sort of something. Um, No bubbles come out. She's just gone. Maybe if the Inquisitor comes over, Rohi will handle it. Oh, yeah, maybe. Ooh. Archie, what are you doing about that locked captain's door? Uh, open doors check. Do it. He's smashing do it down. Again. I was looking for it. The D20, right? That's uh, a D20. You want a 10 or less. Yeah. Easy. Not a problem. The door is not particularly well made and you knock it off its hinges on the first kick to it. Um, inside you can gather the captain's stuff and soon the party is gathered near the boats as one of the Brophy brothers uh, tentatively begins to lead you through town looking for Janet the cook's quarters. Just Nilrum, right? I think just Nilrum went, yeah. And he's gonna let the guy know. He's gonna show him a little bit of spell components and let him know that he's gonna turn him into a toad if he does anything funny. <laughs> Yep, he's with you on this one. Um, let's see. Die roll to see if Janet's house has been destroyed or not. No, it is still standing. None of the goblins nice. have made it this far. You quickly um get outside of the goblins' reach in town. You can see there are people just fleeing to the west end of the island, just taking whatever little bits of precious they have with them and being gone. Um, they'll enter the quiet part of town. You'll see doors open, shutters sort of flying open. Um, dogs standing in the streets and barking. You'll make your way to Janet's abode. Norm will poke him with his knife uh, and whisper, uh, get her out here. Janet! 
Janet, hurry outside, Janet, he says, stepping into the doorway and crying about. Um, luck is on your side today. You can hear a rattling uh, on the inside of the building and she steps out from behind a, a formerly locked door that would go to her bedroom and looks about, sees Brophy, runs over. Brophy, Brophy, what's going on? The goblins. And then she looks, oh, thank God, it's one of the heroes. And then Brophy shakes his head at her and goes, no, no, not at all. Come on, you're both coming with me. She looks confused. What, where, where's your brother? Where Where are the I other men? Dig the knife into Brophy's back. Come on, say, Janet. Uh, he grumbles. Did you have something you were going to say, too? Uh, I was going to whisper, yeah. If you know what's good, or I was just going to say, if you know what's good for you, Janet, <clears throat> you're going to follow me, and everything's going to be all right. That fish and chip you made my captain made him a very happy man. She walks back with you, and as the goblins swarm, reaches and passes you without bothering the three of you, it dawns on her what has happened. Her voice. Quivers. I give her a sick smile. Does she? Does she have the the cojones to um, stand up for herself and fight? She does. She pauses in the streets, puts her hands at her side, and goes, "No way! I'd... What are you, pirates, monsters, lords, servants I start of the to goblins?" Put the dagger into this guy's back. Is she really good? She might have the cojones, but is she gonna let this guy die? Because I have him as a prisoner right now. That is gonna be a willpower check at minus four. No way. No way. Oh um, my gosh. She, She's got no willpower. She folds like a weak hand and follows nice. quietly alongside until the party's all gathered back at the boat, the town in flames, the goblins dragging out all the riches and the loots. Um, the four of you can talk amongst yourselves. You've got Janet, the cook. You've got Brophy. Well, we tie John him up. Brophy. Put him... We tie him up and we put him in the boat. Mm -hmm. um, I got, try and well done, lads. So far, hard bits yet to come. I hand sail the, uh, the spyglass and point across the way. I'll take a look and I'll see what you saw earlier. Sail, do you think that... Uh... You haven't asked much of your god. <clears throat> Do you think he could help us this one time? Yeah, is he any good with lockpicks? I say grant as you... I start jamming around the lock again. Either grant you your spell right now and then, or maybe when the Inquisitor starts coming over, he can just drag her below. Uh, I'll ask. I'll, uh, I'll go to the end of the dock, dock, and I will stand at the water, and I will... Call Rohi and bese bese beseech beseech him for aid in the form of a new spell or assistance should the Inquisitor come because we are trying to kill a servant of a stair. So at the end of the dock by yourself, you call out. Um, a pair of wide golden green eyes sort of illuminate the surface below the water and slipping up the side of the dock is this purplish octopus looking tentacle thing which uh, makes its way up slowly enough that you have time to react if you wish and then sort of like comes to your ankle and begins to wrap itself around you and like tugs you in the direction of the water gently at first yeah. I'll just I'll just fall forward into the water. Mm -hmm. With a splash, sail disappears beneath the waves. I think I'm working just near there on the lock, so I hear him splash like turn around. Sea sail's gone and there's like rippling in the water and look back to the party. What's what happened? I get an answer. Uh I well I'll say like <laughs> I told him to go talk to his god, see if he'll help us out. Do you want me to say his name, that. Captain? Didn't know that meant you have to go down there. I didn't either. Well, I look to the... to the... Uh, something brother. <clears throat> what are you good at? I pointed him with the bard's dagger. I, Make uh, a plea for your life. 
I can tend bar. Hmm. You see where we live, we don't really have a bar. We don't really need a bartender. Can you make a good few drinks? I can. And I can I know how to set up a bar. Oh. Uh, you're you're pirates, right? Every pirate every pirate loves booze. Um, you keep me alive and I can I can stock your I, I can be a party every night. Mm. Well then, you'll swear a blood oath to the gods that you won't harm us? Puts a hand over his heart. By great Lord Astaire. No, 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 no. All the gods. And I hand him a, a dagger. Tell him to cut his hand and then put it over his heart. He slices his hand, places the bloody strip over his nice white shirt. By all the gods, I swear to serve and tend bar for these pirates for as long as my life may live. A nod. Let's the hand sort of slide down the long red streak. Dirt. And you, you make a mighty fine fish and chips. <clears throat> Will you make the same oath? She looks to uh, Don Brophy nods and makes the same oath. Best. No one doesn't give a fuck about the gods too much, but he knows that everybody else does. Um, I want to scoot over to the edge of the pier and look into the water where Sail went. A couple of bubbles appear, but not much else. Under the waves, though, oh. so, Sail, you are met by that same set of prying eyes that informs you, my dear and faithful servant, tonight you have done very well. I will grant you another power. Based. Bring your enemies to the sea, to the beach, the edge of a ship. All to me, channel my power, and I shall drag them beneath the waves. Mechanically, your granted power, which we've sort of dealt with already, but not really, danced around, uh, will replace the classic cleric turn undead ability. It'll function much the same, but instead of turning undead, it will drag things into the water. It need not be undead, but it will only work uh, next to the ocean, next to where Rohi can reach you. There will still be some surprises in here. You know, I'm going to start out with the power being pseudo known like this, and then we'll reveal more about it as it comes along. Cool. But if you could take a look at the turn undead ability that clerics normally get in second edition, and we'll follow a very similar hit die ruling. Um, so the more powerful your enemy, the harder it is to channel Rohi to bring them into the water. The weaker it is, the more easy it is to bring them in. And you can affect a... a like a group or a number of creatures um, based on the die roll. So I could probably like drown a fishing boat pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas, uh, you know, if I wanted to like try to drown a galleon, that's like impossible roll. Probably impossible to affect the galleon, but like you lure some people onto a beach or you're fighting some people on a beach, you might be able to get Rohi to like reach out of the water and drag some number of them back into it. Yeah. It's pretty so cool. That's cool. awesome. That's awesome. So, like, let's say I'm on a boat. Can I just get Archie to start throwing people overboard and just, and they just mm -hmm. get drowned on him? Oh, that's okay. That's yeah. Cool. <clears throat> uh, it is a the only encounter power in the game. So you get it like once per battle, essentially, or once per encounter, which is a not a firm object. You know, sometime yeah. like one encounter might drag on a lot, or you know, there might have encounter could you know could have two encounters ten minutes apart, or you could have one encounter that lasts an hour. So it still only works once per encounter. Um, and is it specifically like salt water and ocean? Like I couldn't do it at a lake. Right, right. Gotcha. Or a strait like this, where because obviously the strait it's kind is part of a river, of the ocean. but it's a strait. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. That is the coolest power ever. I will say, uh, thank you, uh, Rohi, 
it is a pleasure to serve someone so powerful and so clever and so uh, helpful constantly you are uh, thank you for this power seek and destroy the white prince's men wherever possible disrupt his networks bring him low and I will continue to grant you power I will bring him lower than the sea floor a pleasurable purring growl emits from the creature and then your leg is freed and a swarm of bubbles help lift you to the surface breaching I guess I see him and help him back onto the pier sail I reach an arm down where the fuck did you go? Am I, dock? Am I at the dock at this point? Mm hmm Definitely. Yeah, I just realized that Sale isn't actually dead and he's back and I run towards him and <laughs> hug him and I'm super yeah, yeah. Sale, you're alive! How'd you... What did you... I thought the goblet... What, what happened? Uh, I assume I'm coughing up a little bit of water, so I'm like... <clears throat> uh, and I'm like... Uh, I, I, I was never dead, Archie. What? And uh, I'll turn to Winner's as I'm like getting up off the, the pier soaked and I'll be like, I think my God has our back. Should they try to cross? All right. I hope so. I think they're getting ready. How long was he under the water for now? Maybe two minutes, you know, yeah. an uncomfortable amount of time, but not an unreasonable amount. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, uh... say, oh, I get it. You were never dead. You pretended to be dead for the goblins. Oh, that's so smart, Sale. Thank you. Nilrim is gonna. I'll high five Archie. I guess like look out for people fleeing. Or is it? Does he see anybody like still like running around through the town? Any kids? No, not at this point. Anyone who okay. could have fled has either fled or died. Um. The fire well, should we wait here? Yeah, what's going on with the fire? Many sections of the town are in flames. The main downtown area isn't yet. It's become a staging area where the goblins drag all the best loot from town. And as you gaze, one of the goblin translators skips forwards towards you and says, Dreadness wishes to speak with you. Come, come get your reward. Great, great allies of goblins. All right, we'll go go together. back and tell Dreadness that we're waiting on the Inquisitor. We have to kill them first. We'll get a reward uh, later tonight. Yes. Yes. And the goblin skips out. Captain, yep. I assume that they're going to come over soon. Can you check with your spyglass? Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the nil. Are they on ship yet? No. Okay. It does not look like anyone not is yet. getting in any boats yet. It still look like they're gathering men. Or not. There are a lot of people like, up. You can see with the torches and the lanterns that have been brought out that there are uh, great crowds all along the coastline and on the dock in town across the street. But that's about it. Uh, not yet. I can't get this last fucking lock open. Hmm. So I have a rope trick ready we could if we see him start to get in boats go up into the rope trick they're going to have to land on this dock they could land uh, on the beach or they could land on the beach I guess but we just need to be near here I guess for sale to be able to kill the inquisitor correct yes we just need to be near the water and I should have a good chance at killing the inquisitor well Let's go and deal with the goblins now. We've got time. We'll get our reward and make sure we get the strongest ones of them to come and help us and fight here. I like hold up my hand and like stop Captain Winters when I say, we should get him to meet us at the pier. The loot's in the center of town. Oh, all right then. Just keep your eyes open. If we're gonna get double crossed, it's gonna be now. Yep. So uh, I guess we'll we go. walk confidently as for Find Dreadness, yeah. Wait, what about the what about the woman? Bring her with us too. The two I think prisoners. they're tied up in the boat. Can we just tie them up and put them in the bottom of the boat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Can we lock them in? 
Yeah. Sure, hard luck. We can lock them. Yeah, uh, uh, normal. Oh, go ahead. You can tie them to the structures there, but the okay, boat doesn't really fine. have like yeah. a, a hatch. Right. Oh, right. I thought it did. I thought it does. Yeah, I thought we kept the drums under the hatch. Yeah, there's a hatch enough to fit at least a person, you said, maybe two. Yeah, yeah, not like room for people to go, but like room for like some small cargo that needs to be kept away from the, the wind. Okay. The water, All right, it's going to deal with this now. Oh, yeah. oh well, shouldn't we, can we just bring these people then? Yeah, bring them with us. Yeah, all right. Well, it's part of our loot anyway. Yeah, I'm going to tie them up, uh, tie both their hands up in front of them like this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to hold two ropes and kind of drag them along. Excellent. Uh, they will follow behind you. You will see in the middle of town, the goblins have gathered some prisoners, some good people to work for them or do whatever it is that goblins need prisoners for, as well as plenty of loot, barrels of wine and beer, nice fabrics, metal goods, some art objects, some really useless crap that the goblins seem to be infatuated with because of the bright colors across it. Um, as uh, well right, as piles of cash loot. And there is Dreadness in his armor, yeah. lording over all of it, standing on a balcony, watching the chaos unfold underneath. Um, Miller, how much did we agree? 40%? 30? 30. I, I think we get 30%. All right. I remember 30 to then. I'll, uh, I walk up to the center of the town and look up to Dreadness. Dreadness! Ah! A successful day for ourselves and Goblin Kind. <laughs> You've done well, my friends. Yeah. And I believe we said 30%. Mm-hmm. We've got no need for the weapons and the fabrics. Perhaps we could just take coin, gold. Redness looks out over his domain, over uh, everything that this is now. We have two we'll prisoners. Do it, the goblins can be good too. Redness uh, gestures with his whip to a pile of loot and barks in goblin to one of his translators or one of his um, minions who goes over and begins to separate coins out um, and calls back to you 30% is yours you can take it from the gold you can take 30% of the gold silver and copper well we don't want any of the weapons or fabrics or art objects perhaps we can uh, take a little bit more of the coinage to compensate Heal's a deal, Dreadness. Everything went according to plan. We fulfilled our end. It's up to you to do yours. I'm in a generous mood. Yes, fine. Take 40% of the coins. All right. Um, he barks back you, Goblin Dreadness. to his person who nods quickly and uh, starts shoveling money over. Dreadness. Light. We're going to be out of here, I don't know, maybe today, tomorrow. Depends. If we come back and we need to uh, make our way here, which part of the island would you like us to come into? I haven't decided where to make our new home. Is it here? In the woods? There's much to be decided. I nod. Don't, don't rest yet, Dreadness. The Inquisitor and his men may still make land on this side of the strait. Send your strongest warriors to the pier and be ready. You were going to deal with the Inquisitor. Was we that will, not your if, end of the bargain? If any of them should survive when they we, wash up. We are going to deal with the Inquisitor. However, we would like your goblins for dealing with the random soldiers that come so we may deal with him. Hmm. Been a successful night. He bobs his head up and down in agreement, um, calls out to a cluster of goblins, tells them to follow you, and they will do so. Cool. Give him uh, a nod. Good doing yeah. business with you. Laps, we'll see you once again. When we come back, is there a secret code phrase that can keep us safe that we could utter to your goblins? Hail, redness. I nod. All right. 
Oh, and Dreadless, one last thing. Any of your goblins could locks. <laughs> no, we have no such need for objects like that in our land. My How do you terror keeps our people in line. How do you remove locks? Uh, he points to someone who, like, walks over and hands you an axe. Hack through the metal or the uh, wood. Yeah. Um, he probably tries your old trick, Norm, just throwing off a cliff. It's always worked. It's always opened things. Uh, I hand um, the axe to Archie. Archie can work on that. All right, yeah. Let me take it to the dark. Yeah, all right. We'll Archie, see if you can break the chains. Um, do you want any checks for me? What do I mean? Give me one Um, so the chains are metal, worst. and the the lock is metal. Your axe is. Um, give me. Give me an open doors check. If you fail, then the axe is ruined and the lock can't be broken. And if you pass, then the axe is ruined and you manage to hack it apart. All right, D twenty. I want ten or below. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Uh, you ruin the axe in the process, but eventually manage to hack at it enough until the lock breaks sufficiently to you know, jingle it open and release Fuck the Fuck yeah. Good job, Archie. Redness is smart, I say to the other goblins. All right, I check the spyglass again. In fact, I think now <clears throat> I'm just going to sit here and wait and watch out the spyglass. As you guys stand on the edge of the dock and watch, goblins will drag chests over to you. Uh, at first, it's a couple of chests, and then it just becomes like miscellaneous boxes and bags filled with coins. You will get 2,000 gold, 40,000 silver, Whoa. and 200,000 copper. What Let's the fuck? fucking go. Holy yeah, shit. Damn. So as the last bit of gold either. comes, I give Norm a look and, you know, it says, all right, well done. It pays How to much kill, now? Captain. It pays to kill. How much 2, silver? 2,000 gold, okay, 40,000 yeah. silver, 200,000 yeah. copper. We, got, we, like, legit can't hold a lot. <laughs> Our ship can, but yeah, we can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll tell the goblins to put it on the ship. Like, I'll make them do that. I mean, this is five tons of coins. <laughs> 200,000 200, 200, copper is like untransportable. As as I right? see the chests being being transported, and I go over to to John, and I'm like, you know what? At first, I was pretty skeptical of this plan, but Captain, I'm glad you convinced us of this. It was a fantastic idea. Um, I'm really really happy. And uh, Norm will cough. <laughs> John, thanks uh. Archie. Thanks Archie. Yeah, what is it, Norm? You know, this this was my plan. Yeah, you had the I idea. Yeah. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is John. Yeah, John. John. I agree. Right? It was Captain. And ah, yeah, that's how I remember. Right? That's how I remember it. It was yeah. our plan. I, I point to say, oh yeah, it was our plan. It was our plan. So it was definitely our plan. I was yeah. fully on. Well, it was our plan as a party to do it, but since the yeah. party is led by the captain, the book stops with you guys. The, the yeah, buck the captain. Stop with you. Yeah, that yeah. is true. The right. captain does make the decisions around here, so it was you know <laughs> John's plan, and we did that's it. it. So I think that was great. Fine, fine, fine. Um. Wait, mechanically though, can we actually transport all of these copper coins, or are we gonna have to leave them? Uh, yes, there are sufficient boxes and bags and miscellaneous things to put them in, and your ship is capable of carrying. Um, on edge, twenty tons, and this oh, is about four and a half tons. Two tons, yeah, yeah. I think. Okay. Well, great. We'll be a little low in the water, but we'll be good. Is yeah, there anybody good. coming? On the other side? Not tonight, it looks like. It's I mean, been we can, maybe an hour and a half just, since the fight I think we began. Just leave. Yeah, then we should just leave. Fuck it. I mean, wait, yeah. wait, but the papers. We can get that somewhere else easily. Again, yeah, just... I think the best way to get a ship is just to go on the shipping channels from Arcadia to here, and then we get a ship that way. We can probably buy one now. Well, mm. maybe. We can pay off Nightingale with us. Wait, really? Maybe. How much did we owe? Hundred. So sure. it was like we tens of with like ten k, ten k gold. Oh, was it ten thousand gold? Well, two hundred thousand copper is two thousand gold. 
Uh, How much did we owe Nightingale? Didn't we owe her like a hundred thousand gold? We paid her off a good bit, I thought. Like maybe ten percent of what we owed her. We paid her a little bit. I mean, least. we've got almost ten thousand gold now. Jesus Christ. It's a fucking lot. We kind of need to kill the Inquisitor. We said that we would to the goblins. Yeah. I say... No one will say, uh... We need to do this. We have your god's blessing. He's gonna help us out. You promise? Like, he's really got us on this? Yeah, if we can get them near the water. Okay, the Inquisitor's think... gonna come over tomorrow to see what the fuck happened. At the, very, at the bare minimum, let's just rest here and... Let's figure it out. Maybe we could make a show on the docks that might entice them in some way maybe people crying for help for boats to come over let's uh let's move the ship first so they don't immediately know to expect us and so it doesn't get fucking sunk in the process we'll always be holding on it i know yeah we'll get on the ship we'll sail it on the coast uh, a bit i'll tell i'll tell a goblin nearby of the rough plan just so dread must know mm-hmm well why don't we take our second break right here and when we come back we will come to the morning and see what else will happen. So see you guys on the other side of a break. All right.